Hello, I'm Maria De Cristina, Editor-in-Chief of Scientific American, and these are my daughters Mallory and Selena. In this episode, we're going to inflate a balloon using yeast, the same stuff that makes bread rise in the oven. Yeast are actually tiny creatures smaller than the eye can see. When they eat, they produce gas, and as we'll see, millions of yeast working together can produce enough gas to inflate a balloon. For this activity, you're going to need baker's yeast, a tablespoon of sugar, a funnel, a plastic bottle, a balloon, and some warm water. Okay, to start, we'll loosen up our balloon by blowing it up a few times. Mallory, if you would. Now our balloon is nicely stretched out. Thank you, Mallory. Now we'll pour in about two inches of warm water into this plastic bottle. Next, we'll add two teaspoons of yeast and swirl it around. Selena, if you would. These yeast are probably getting hungry. So now we'll add two tablespoons of sugar and swirl the mixture around a little bit more. Mallory. Okay, girls, take a close look at the bottle. Do we see any signs of life yet? Yes. yes. What do you see? I see your bubbles. What I do you think made those bubbles? The yeast. The yeast, very good. Next, we'll attach a balloon to the top of the plastic bottle. Okay, we'll leave this set up here for around 15 to 20 minutes and see what happens. Come on, girls. Okay, it's about 20 minutes later, and as you can see, our balloon has filled up. What's happened here is that millions of yeast organisms gobbled up the sugar that we added to the bottle. In the process, they created carbon dioxide, a gas. Because this gas takes up more space than the sugar, it made the balloon expand. For more activities to try, visit our website, scientificamerican.com forward slash bring science home.